I see a lot of people being confused by Next.js use client and its impact on SSR or server-side rendering. So, did you know that use client does not impact if a component is rendered on the client or on the server? Let's run through a simple exercise. We have a simple Next.js application that renders out a demo component. Within the component, we render out an H1, will this be rendered on the server? And that is the question that I want you to ask every single time we look at this component. Now right now this application is showing the simple component and the question is with the code that you've seen is it being rendered on the client or being rendered on the server and we can find the answer by looking at what is being returned in the initial html and no surprise as you would expect this is being rendered on the server because we can see the h1 being rendered in the initial response preview now let's make a minor modification and add an on click event handler into this component now with this simple modification, within modern Next.js, if you look at the application, you can see that it will actually crash. The reason is, because we are using a client-side event handler, we need to mark this as the client component. And to do that, all that we have to do is to ensure that the file that contains the component has use client as a part of its header. With this simple modification in place, the application works again. And we can verify that this is a client component because when we interact with it, a client side on click is triggered and we see the alert that we coded in the event handler. So now that we've verified that this is a client component, the question is, is the initial render of this component happening on the server or only on the client? And the answer is that this component is still using SSR or server side rendering. And we can verify this by looking at the preview of the original response. And you can see that the HTML of the component is contained within the server response. Smash that like and subscribe for more tips and tricks and check out Boolean art.